Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya for those of you that are new and viewing. Today I'm going to be trying out one of Outre's new wigs. This one is a part of their Perfect Hairline collection. The unit that I'm reviewing is the Outre Perfect Hairline 13x6 Tatien unit and this one is in the color DRF Ginger Brown. So this unit has a lot of lace space. So it has a 13 by six lace frontal. And what I'm gonna do to start off with the installation process is use my tinted lace spray to make sure that this lace is gonna be blended into my skin. That is key for me to use my tint spray. It helps with that lace if you have any issues with a pale lace or a white lace, you know, however you wanna describe it. Get you some tint spray, sis. I promise you, you will not regret it. Also make sure that you let that spray dry down completely so it doesn't transfer onto your face or to your, um, your hair. You wanna make sure that it is dry. So after I get the tint spray put on this lace, now we're gonna work on the installation process. So like I said, it is a 13 by six lace frontal and I felt like it was like really big in the front. Like I feel like it was like covering my ears. So I did have to cut up a little bit more on that lace just to make sure it falls right above my ear. So we have that perfect fit. When I put the wig on, very good sizing. I feel like I had a lot of space with this wig cap. I did do a little um, pull on the back of the unit and make did the adjustable straps to make it tight. And then I used the elastic band that comes inside of the unit um, to put that wig on and it felt very secure and I hadn't even glued it on yet. So now I'm gonna use my tint lace, um, not my lace, I'm gonna use my um, Ebon holding spray, it's an adhesive spray. I use the Black Supreme can, that's one of my top favorites of the four that they have. You can check my link, you can check my description bar for a link to this spray. Once I get that sprayed around, I'm gonna use my elastic band and put that around my forehead just to make sure that it holds in place. Now with this being a 13 by six lace frontal space, you are able to basically style this wig up how you please. The only thing that you probably can't do is pull it up into like a high ponytail because it isn't a, three, a 360 lace frontal. But I am going to try out a side part with this wig and I'm also gonna do a middle part. I was thinking about pulling it up and doing a half up, half down look, but I just really wasn't feeling that that much, so I stuck with the side part and the middle part. And let me tell you, that side part, it is giving. It Like, the hair parted so well. Like, it parted without even having, like, a tangle in there, which I really like. I like that it didn't do this big tangle issue on me. Like, it just parted perfectly. I feel like if you wear wigs... You know what I mean when I say that. Like it just, it, it it did what it needed to do, okay? It was perfect. So I put it on my left side, but you could do your right side too, depending on where you like your parting space. And then once I parted it, I went ahead and took that elastic band off and I'm gonna cut the lace off. And I do have a few pieces here and there that are sticking up. So I'm gonna go back over it with the spray because it also helps blend that lace back into your skin because you kind of have a little like, flashback effect is how I describe it. So if you go back over it with some spray and put the elastic band back on, the second time you take that off, it should be gone. And then you can also go back over that, of course, with some makeup, which I am gonna do in a few. Um, I use like a bronzer powder and go over just like that front little area to blend it in from the actual lace into my forehead. So that's why it just looks seamless and you can't really tell that I have on a wig unless you are literally like up on my face <laughs> to be able to tell. And then after that, I am going to add some makeup into that parting space. I'm going to add a little swoop on the left hand side um, with that parting space just to give it a little bit more flair. And that's pretty much it with the process of styling the wig. I use my hot comb only to just flatten out the roots a little bit. I did not use um, any heat over the entire wig because I wanted it to keep the texture that it has. I feel like when you go over the like synthetic yucky feel type of wigs it kind of loses that yucky look and it becomes more silky so i didn't want that so i kept it how it is but you can try it with like a low heat and then it probably won't destroy like that texture that you get that's like my only pet peeve with like the synthetic wigs is if you try to go over it with heat it just i feel like it destroys the texture that you once had with the wig but um now we can get into like the actual fibers of the hair i feel like it was a really good wig you know i combed it out it did tangle up a little bit but um i didn't really have much shedding i really love the length y'all know i'm a long length wig type of girl so when you give me inches i am satisfied so 
Um, I'm not really sure exactly what length this is, but I'm gonna give it about a 20, 22 to 26 range, most likely. It's it's pretty it's definitely in the long range family, and it is straight, and this color is giving ginger brown is one of my top faves that Altre has in their color options that they offer. Now we're gonna move on to the middle part, which is honestly very simple. If you just wanna switch that on over, I'm gonna give myself a middle parting space. Yet again, it did part perfectly. And then I'm gonna add another swoop, so that way my little swoops, my little baby hairs can be identical, semi-identical, because honey, I can never make my baby hairs look <laughs> extremely identical, okay? But we are gonna try to get it like that. But the middle part was giving and serving as I figured she would because Middle parts are just the S-H-I-T at this point, okay? They're they're great. I love a good middle part wig. And the fact that I can be versatile with this one is like icing on the cake. So overall, how do I rate this wig? I think this wig is cute. I give it like 9 out of 10. It's like a basic but basic baddie is what i would give it because i mean it's just a straight wig it has little light layers you know you get your color effect and you're also able to style her up how you please but the fact that it was tangling on me a little and i felt like when i say a little it, it seemed like i moved and then it tangled like right after i brushed it out so that's why i say nine out of ten but i can get past tangling because i keep a brush on me anyway so that don't phase me but yeah overall love this wig y'all so if you're interested in it make sure you check out the description bar i will have a direct link there for you shout out to outre for sending over this wig shout out to you guys and thank you so much for watching and still being here supporting your girl i know i'll be like mia sometimes but y'all are here and i appreciate y'all and i love y'all and um that's all i got thanks guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys